Look at the next question. The question is like this. The set of all x where 4 by 1 plus x plus 2 by 1 minus x is less than 1 is. Option A, mod x less than or equal to 1. Option B, mod x greater than or equal to 1. Option C, mod x less than 1. And option D is mod x greater than 1. Look at this dear students. First basic thing here is, if x is equated to 1, what happens? Look at option A and option B dear students. If x is equated to 1, this will become infinite. That means to say, x cannot be equal to 1. Because 2 by 0, infinite, therefore x cannot be equal to 1. Because infinity cannot be compared with a real number. Now, we are left out with option C and option D only. Let us take a value, assume option C is correct. Let us take a value x mod x less than 1. Definitely 0 is a number which is less than 1. Put x is equal to 0. 4 by 1 plus 0 plus 2 by 1 minus 0. 4 by 1 plus 2 by 1. 6 is less than 1 is impossible. Therefore, option C is also ruled out. Option D is correct. See how simple it is. But here, I have taken this problem not just to give you what is the right answer. Here, I have taken this problem to introduce a concept of inequality along with the concept of quadratic equations. Anyway, you got the answer, dear students, right? But don't stop here. You have to gain proper knowledge. Come back. 4 by 1 plus x plus 2 by 1 minus x is less than 1 we can write it as 4 by 1 plus x plus 2 by 1 minus x minus 1 is less than 0. Do you agree with me? So, we can write it as 4 times 1 minus x plus 2 times 1 plus x minus 1 minus x square divided by 1 minus x square is less than 0. How did you get it? Just took LCM. Now what happens here dear students? 4 minus 4x plus 2 plus 2x minus 1 plus x square. Is that correct? Now you can see here minus into minus plus x square. Is that correct? x square plus 2x minus 4x will give us minus 2x x square minus 2x plus 4 plus 2 that is 4 plus 2 6 minus 1 5. I repeat this is minus into minus plus x square. This is minus 4x plus 2x will give us minus 2x. 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 1 5. 5 divided by divided by 1 minus x square must be less than 0. This implies what? Look at the numerator and denominator. 4 minus x square, this is plus 5, sorry. Okay. Look at the numerator and denominator. Numerator is x square minus 2x plus 5. What kind of quadratic equation is this? x square minus 2x plus 5 is a quadratic equation whose roots are imaginary. Why? Because b square is less than 4 ac. What is the reason? What is b square? b square is 4. What is 4ac? 4 into 5 into 1 that is 20. 4 is less than 20. Therefore, b square is less than 4ac here. b square is less than 4ac means numerator roots are imaginary and numerator is always positive. As numerator is always positive, we have to talk about only denominator. I will just write p. p represent positivity. p divided by 1 minus x into 1 plus x must be less than 0. When 1 minus x into 1 plus x will be less than 0 or you can also write it as 1 minus x square is less than 0 because numerator is positive, denominator is negative. So, 1 minus x square is less than 0. That means to say 1 is less than x square or x, x square is less than 1 or mod x is greater than 1. Got it dear students? I repeat. See here, this implies, this implies Straight away using this only we can write 1 minus x square is negative. x square is greater than 1 or mod x is greater than 1. Understanding this, 
x square is greater than 1 or x is greater than 1 and minus x is that is mod x is greater than 1 therefore option d is correct understood this dear students now let us go to the next problem And the next problem is, if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then roots of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are option a real, option b complex and option c irrational and option d is rational. Dear students, if you look at the options, you have real, irrational, rational. You can see here, irrational roots and rational roots are the subset of real roots. So that means to say, you have to find out the precise answer for this, which is the most precise is the question here. If a plus b plus c is equal to 0, look at the question. We have a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. If or let x is equal to 1, what happens here? If we get x, put x is equal to 1, we will definitely get a plus b plus c is equal to 0. This implies x is equal to 1 is a root of the equation. Do you agree with me? So, x is equal to 1 is a root of this equation means 1 root is clearly 1 root is clearly rational. If 1 root is rational, another root must be rational. And of course, roots are real, no doubt about it. So, one root is rational, another root will be rational. The reason is, if one root is irrational, another root and root will be irrational. That clearly says, for this option D, rational roots are correct. Please make a note of this, dear students. This is the simplest shortcut for the problem. What is the relation between a line and the curve? Consider a parabola and a line. Line touches the parabola means the line must be a tangent. Line intersects the parabola means line must be a secant. Line is not touching the parabola, not neither touching the parabola nor intersecting the parabola means it should be an external line. So, of course, that is the fact that you know. But how do you prove that mathematically? If line touches the curve, it is tangent. What is the proof? If I substitute the equation of the line in the equation of the parabola, I must get a quadratic equation and that quadratic equation must have equal roots. If a line is secant or normal to the curve, then the condition is when I substitute equation of line in the equation of curve, I must get a quadratic equation and that quadratic equation should have real and distinct roots. If line is external to the curve, then I must get a quadratic equation whose roots are imaginary. These are the three basic things that you must know before understanding the next problem. Look at this dear students. A curve y is equal to lambda plus 1 into x square plus 2 intersects y is equal to lambda x plus 3 in exactly one point if lambda is equal to option a minus 2 comma 2 option b 1, option c minus 2 and option d is 2. Dear students, this curve meets this line at a point. First let us equate both. If we equate both, what we will get? Lambda plus 1 into x square plus 2 must be equal to lambda x plus 3. Is that correct? This quadratic equation must have equal roots. Right? When do you say the quadratic equation will have equal roots? The quadratic equation will have equal roots if and only if b square is equal to 4ac. That is lambda plus 1 into x square minus lambda x plus 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 1 is clearly equal to 0. That is minus lambda whole square must be equal to 4 times lambda plus 1 into minus 1. That is the condition. Right? 
B square must be equal to 4AC. Is that correct? This implies lambda square is equal to minus 4 lambda minus 4. Is that correct? That is minus of 4 lambda plus 4 lambda plus 4 or minus of 4 times lambda plus 1. Both are 1 and the same. 4 lambda plus 4. That is lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0. Is that correct? That is lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0. This clearly implies, this clearly implies, this clearly implies lambda plus 2 whole square is equal to 0. This implies lambda is equal to minus 2. Lambda is equal to minus 2, option C is correct. This is how textbook has explained. But Dear students, you will not have so much of time to spend in the examination. So what you have to do is, you have to use a shortcut here. What is that shortcut? Just you have to stop at this stage, dear students. Lambda plus 1 whole square plus 2 is equal to lambda x plus 3. You stop at this particular stage and look into the answer. Put lambda, we have the critical values, minus 2, 2, 1, minus 2, 2. So definitely, this is one set we have to look into. The reason is, if minus 2 satisfies, then either A or C should be correct. If 2 satisfies this equation, then either A or D should be correct. What best we can do is, start substituting the values. Put a lambda is equal to minus 2. What you will get? Minus 2 plus 1 whole square plus 2 is equal to minus 2 x plus 3. That will definitely reduce to lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 or this will reduce to this will become a quadratic equation whose roots are equal right if you substitute lambda is equal to 2 you will get a quadratic equation whose roots are not equal so that is one way of verifying it so anyway this is one of the simplest problem but taken from your one of the entrance exam i hope you have understood this Now let us discuss the next problem. The problem is like this. If the roots of the equation x square minus px plus q is equal to 0 differ by unity then option A q square is equal to 4p. Option B p square is equal to 4q plus 1. Option C q square is equal to 4p plus 1. Option D p square is equal to 4q minus 1. Look at this dear students. x square minus px plus q is equal to 0. Now what is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is p. Do you agree with me? Of course, no need to say alpha and beta are the roots. Then what about alpha beta? Alpha beta is equal to q, product of the roots. Then what is alpha minus beta? What is alpha minus beta? Alpha minus beta is given by alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta under root or alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. What is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is equal to p. You will get p square minus 4 times alpha beta. What is alpha beta? Alpha beta is equal to q p square minus 4q. Now, p square minus 4q, but what is alpha minus beta? Alpha minus beta is difference of the roots. Alpha is one root, beta is one root, alpha minus beta is difference of the roots. But difference of the roots is given by 1. Therefore, p square minus 4q, p square minus 4q is equal to 1. Is that correct? Or this implies p square is equal to 4q plus 1. Therefore, option B is correct. See how simple the problem is. Dear 
Dear students, now let us discuss next problem. The problem is based on one common sense that is roots are imaginary what happens to the common roots. If roots are imaginary, if two equations share a common root, then both the equations are one and the same. What is the reason for this? Assume that you have two root, two equations. A x square plus B x plus C is equal to 0. A dash x square plus B dash x square, B dash x plus C is equal to 0 are the two equations. Assume first quadratic equation has got roots as alpha and beta. Second quadratic equation has got roots as alpha and gamma. Remember alpha beta, alpha gamma. Alpha is a common root. Then suppose first quadratic equation has got complex roots then alpha and beta are the two roots. Alpha and beta are related like this. Alpha beta are the conjugate pair. And always for imaginary or complex roots, the root exists in the conjugate pair only. Coming back, if alpha beta are the roots and alpha beta are conjugate of each other and alpha is a common root for first equation and second equation and second equation will have alpha and gamma as the roots. Therefore, dear students, alpha is, let us say, m plus i n, then gamma will be m minus i n. That means to say, second equation and first equation are one and the same. As both the equations are one and the same, you can see both the equations are same and the coefficients are equal. That is the logic behind next question. Look at the question, dear students. x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 and ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Share a common root, then a is to b is to c is. Look at this, x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. This implies, what is the value of delta? Delta is equal to b square 4 minus 4ac minus 12, which is less than 0. Delta negative means roots are imaginary. Let us say, let p plus iq, p minus iq are roots of equation number 1, let us call this as 1, of 1. And it is given that they share a common root, therefore let p plus iq is the common root, is common root. If p plus iq is common root for the second equation also, then what happens is, if p plus iq is one root, then p minus iq is another root, is next root or other root. That means to say, p plus iq and p minus iq are the roots of the second equation also. That means to say, equation number 1 with p plus iq and p minus iq and equation number 2 with p plus iq and p minus iq are as the roots are one and the same. That means to say 1 is equal to 1 is equal to what? A, 2 is equal to B, 3 is equal to C. Therefore, A is to B is to C is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Understood this dear students? I have discussed a few problems of different types. Try to work out more and more problems from your textbook or any of the entrance exam books. You should get at least two questions out of this quadratic equation chapter. I hope you will do well.